Hello, everyone. Uh, let's get seated. Uh, this is session 4B, uh, Memory Management and Near Data Processing. I'm the session chair, Jainil Gandhi. I work for Meta. Uh, earlier, I was working for VMware Research, and my research interests mainly are on memory management. That's why I'm the session chair for this. Uh, our first talk uh, today is uh, Terra Heap. Uh, the presenter is uh, Iakovos. Uh, he is a graduate student at uh, University of Crete. He is a third-year PhD student, and he is uh, looking for internships. So if anybody is interested, do talk to him. Uh, come on over. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jakubas Kolokasis, and today I'll present you our system TerraHip that reduces the memory pressure in the managed heaps for big data analytics frameworks. Analytics frameworks run over managed run times. To process large amount of data, they need large heaps. However, large heaps are expensive both due to DRAM limitations and garbage collection overheads. On the one hand, DRAM is expensive in dollar cost, energy, and power. And on the other hand, garbage collection requires expensive scans over large heaps. For these reasons, today analytics frameworks avoid large heaps. The main approach they use to avoid large heaps is to move objects outside the managed heap of DRAM over a fast storage device. Off heap objects are not managed by the garbage collector. However, they demand constant serialization deserialization. Serialization is necessary to transform the whole closure of each object into byte stream. Um, but serialization has significant problems. First, it reduces additional overheads. For showing some of the wor Spark workloads that we use in our evaluation, serialization deserialization takes up to 47% of the total execution time. Also, serialization and not every object in the managed heap can be moved outside the managed heap. Such objects are objects with static fields in the JVM. And third, moving objects off heap might be unsafe. So we need to overcome these problems and we need to eliminate serialization deserialization. To eliminate serialization deserialization, we need to extend the managed heap over a fast storage device. And which now this heap is memory mapped over the storage device. Um, sorry. Yes. Uh, this is an approach that today OpenJDK naively supports by using mmap. However, the garbage collection over such device heap can be very, very expensive. And this is because the garbage, collect the garbage collector needs to perform random access to the objects that now li lie in the storage device and also compact and reclaim dead objects uh, which now lie over the storage device. These two operations introduce high I.O. traffic. And to resolve this problem, we need a solution that eliminates serialization without increasing garbage collection costs. And thus, we propose TerraHeap. TerraHeap is a system that split the managed heap into two separate heaps. We have now a regular heap over DRAM and a second high capacity heap memory mapped over a fast storage device. TerraHeap provides the illusion of a single managed heap over memory and storage and eliminates serialization deserialization by providing direct access to objects that lies on the storage device. Also, TerraHeap manages the two heaps differently. For example, the, the object in the first heap are scanned and compacted by the garbage collector, while we prevent the garbage collection scans over the second heap. For this reason, we use a custom memory manager that is designed to work over a device heap and performs lazy garbage collection because now we have a, a very large storage device and this custom memory manager minimizes the I.O. traffic over the storage device. Now that we explained the problem, I'm going to present you the high-level design of TerraHeap and some highlight results. 
The first goal of TerraHip is to identify large clusters of objects with similar lifetime and move them to the second heap. Frameworks, we observe that frameworks have the knowledge because they use partitions and they move specific partitions outside the managed heap. Partitions are represented as a large cluster of objects inside the managed heap. Also, we observe that frameworks have eventually mutable objects. These objects are created and updated in one computation step and then are read only in subsequent computation steps. So, to gain this knowledge from the framework, we, we provide to frameworks two hints. The first hint is to enable frameworks to mark the key object which represents the partition using a label. And the second, hip, uh, the second hint now is to advise TerraHip when it's the proper time to move the marked objects from the first heap to the second heap. After the advice hint, TerraHip moves object to the second heap during the garbage collection and utilizes the garbage collection to propagate the label from the key object to the all reachable objects. But when, when but, uh, but what happens if we, if, we, if we have many, many objects inside the first heap? So, by moving object lazily to the second heap, increase the memory pressure in the first heap, which now has small size, and this results to increase the garbage collection overhead. Or much worse, results in out of memory error. To decrease the memory pressure in the first heap, TerraHeap transfer object to the second heap eagerly. In that case, we identify the high memory pressure in the first heap by using a high threshold mechanism. Then we bypass the transfer hint from the framework and we start moving some of the marked objects from the first heap to the second heap um, up to a low threshold. We move only a subset of, the, of these objects to give the rest more time to become immutable. Next and bigger problem that we have to solve is how we are going to reclaim objects in the second heap without GC scans. Unlike existing solutions that are designed to reclaim theorem space eagerly, TerraHip reclaims the space in H2 lazily by taking the advantage of the large device capacity. Thus, we organize the second heap logically into fixed size regions, putting objects with the same label in the same region. And thus, we can print the whole region in bulk. To avoid further access now over the storage device, we keep per region metadata in theorem. This metadata shows the, if the region is live or dead, and also we keep a dependency list on which regions we have dependencies. For example, in this, in this scenario here, region zero is dependent with the region one because we have a cross-region reference. So, we extend the garbage collector to identify live H2 regions when performs a liveness analysis of the object in the first heap. So, when the garbage collector finds that this object is live, follow its reference, and now this reference points to the second heap. But we don't touch the object in the second heap, we mark the region as live, and we traverse the dependency list, and we mark all the dependent region also as live. Finally, we reclaim all the dead objects in the dead region by zero regions metadata in DIRA. Although now we avoid garbage collection scans in the second heap, the garbage, collection, the garbage collector still scans and reclaims object in the first heap. So, H2 object might have reference from uh, two objects in the first heap. And our goal here is to identify backward references from object in the second heap to object in the first heap with low I.O. cost and prevent the garbage collector to reclaim these objects. To avoid scanning all objects in the second heap, we scan specific segments with backward references. Thus, we use a car table in DIRA, where this is a byte array, which each byte of the array maps specific segment of H2. Uh, considering now the high capacity of H2, we use large card segments to, uh, we use large segments to, um, to reduce the size of the card table in DIRA. However, using large segments require to scan more objects if the, if the segment is dirty. So, 
so to, to resolve this problem, we categorize cards based on their references and we can scan less segments. And based on the garbage collection type that we have in the first heap, minor means in young generation collection or major means in full uh, garbage collection over the old generation, we can scan specific segments. You can see more details uh, inside our paper. To show, to show that our design works, we implement TerraHeap in OpenJDK 8, but we also now support OpenJDK 17. We extend the parallel scavenge garbage collector and we extend the interpreter and JIT compilers to support updates over the second heap. To evaluate TerraHeap, we use a server with two terabytes NVMe SSD and 256 gigabyte DRAM. Also in the paper, you will find more results with NVM. We use real world application in Spark and Giraffe and in all experiments, we limit the DRAM capacity using C groups. Now I'm going to show you three selected experiments, but in, in our evaluation of the paper, you'll find more, more results and with more benchmarks. First, we show the performance of a native Spark that uses serialization to serialization for the cache data compared to TerraHeap using the same amount of DRAM in page rank, linear regression, logistic regression work, workloads. TerraHeap outperforms the native Spark by up to 450%. And the main performance improvement is from the elimination of the serialization deserialization. We have some serialization deserialization in TerraHeap, and this is due to the shuffle operation in Spark that, that we do not focus in this paper, uh, we do not target in this paper. Next, we show the performance of TerraHeap compared to native giraffe using that moves objects uh, outside the managed heap. Um, uh, compared to TerraHeap, using again the, with the same amount of DRAM, using page rank connected component as shortest path. TerraHeap outperforms the native's giraffe by up to 28%, and the main performance improvement now is from the reduction of the major garbage collection up to 50%. Uh, giraffe moves object outside the managed heap to reduce the memory pressure, but when it needs to fetch this data inside the heap for processing, this introduces additional overhead inside the heap, additional pressure, and increases the garbage collection cost. Uh, next, uh, we show what happens if we give to native Spark and native giraffe more DRAM compared to TerraHeap. And we see that TerraHeap can still outperform native Spark by using 4.6 times less DRAM and native Giraffe by using 1.2 times DRAM. To conclude, in this paper today, analytics frameworks deal with large data set using serialization to serialization. TerraHeap provides the illusion of a single managed heap over memory and storage and eliminates serialization to serialization and avoid garbage collection scans when we claim objects in the second heap. TerraHeap improves native Spark and Giraffe and also requires up to 4.6 times less DRAM. In the future, we want to eliminate the, the hints by dynamically determining which object to move to the second heap. TerraHeap is open source, you can find it in GitHub. Thank you for your attention and I'll be happy to answer your question or reach me later in the post session. <laughs>